So Keir Starmer once again has intervened to try and block Jeremy Corbyn for standing as a Labour MP for Islington North. The reason being, no, nothing to do with anti-Semitism, but because he lost the last general election. This is the motion the NEC passed, which states multiple reasons for blocking Corbyn. Point number four states that the Labour Party has not secured a parliamentary majority since 2005. The last point of agreement among the NEC says the Labour Party's interests at the next election is not well served by Mr Corbyn running as a Labour candidate. What a disgrace. It doesn't mention anti-Semitism once. Why? It's clearly because Corbyn said nothing wrong in his statements in regards to the matter, and therefore the NEC has had to come up with another BS reason. Why isn't the same applied to Ed Miliband? He's in the shadow cabinet, yet got less votes than Corbyn in both 2017 and 2019 elections. Why isn't Labour's result in 2017, in which it increased its vote share and increased the number of seats, a factor in all of this? This is incredibly flimsy and weak, but it's designed that way. This is a motion in which it clearly, clearly seeks to target left-wing MPs because they can apply the same argument. Oh, well, all these left MPs can't stand because they are too left-wing and it could harm our chances electorally. This is the most Stalinist draconian measures that have come from Labour recently. It's an outrage and a disgrace. A political faction is using the party's machinery to purge anyone they don't agree with. They can't do it democratically, so they are using tactics such as this. Corbyn has released a statement, again, pretty much usual, nothing particularly concrete, just simply saying this is wrong, but nothing more. Now, there are whispers, we don't know if it's true, but it's something we should probably countenance, that Corbyn may stand as an independent. I say good. If Starmer wants to act like Stalin, running the party as a clique and a complete disregard for democracy, the so-called broad church, and the varying opinions of the party and the country as a whole, then it's left Jeremy no choice. Everyone in Islington North should support Corbyn as an independent. This is bigger than him. This is standing up for democracy. Tony Blair, who's known for his authoritarian tendencies, didn't go that far. One, because his majority was sizable enough to ignore the left, but at the very least had the basic decency to keep people in the party who didn't share the views of New Labour. And that wouldn't be right either. The leader leads the party. Part of his job is to unify. No one has a right to purge on this scale. Now, Corbyn's first shadow cabinet was incredibly broad, including the left, centre, and even the right of the party. Far from Corbyn being the neo-Stalin the papers said about him, he was very much interested in unity, which ironically, those same people who he brought into the fold stabbed him in the back and tried a coup to oust him. Starmer is authoritarian. He will govern like one. If this is what he does with the party and anyone who disagrees with him and his faction, just imagine what he would do with the state. A hint, it won't be anything good.